welcome to my backyard. This episode, halibut, lingcod, and rockfish fishing. La Push is a village on the west coast of the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. It lies at the mouth of the Quileute River surrounded by Olympic National Park. It's known for wild Pacific beaches like First Beach with its huge waves. Forested trails lead to second and third beaches where birds gather on offshore rock formations. At Rialto Beach, tide pools surround Hole in the Wall, a natural rock arch. Did you get enough coffee? I have a cup, yes. I got a full cup, I'm ready to go. Good. Uh, Sportsman's yeah. paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Philip, <laughs> the walking up the cooler. Yeah, got to keep those dead fish cold, fresh. Do you think maybe we had too much ice? Seems like you guys are laboring. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Good morning, America. June first. We're halibut fishing out of La Push. Hopefully we do better than last time. I got <laughs> Phil here. We're gonna get him today. Big Rick just blew his nose with our fish cleaning rag. Hey! <laughs> Trying to get the scent on early. Nice hat. <laughs> and we'll get a shot of Brad here shortly, but he, he was chastised for doing too much fast jerky camera movements and he's being pretty disciplined right now. So good on you Brad. All right well we're gonna head out of the marina here and we got 27 and a half miles to go so we'll see you out there. Beautiful morning. If the water would lay down just a little bit more we could make good time. Yeah beautiful backdrop. Well, we made it. It was about a two hour run. It was a lot rougher than four at nine, as Noah told us. I think we were live to again. But here we are. And I think we've only seen, what, Brad, four boats out yes. here? So it's Thursday. Probably be a lot more Saturday, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Boom, zip, pow. Boom, zip, pow, just like that. Presto, bang. I'm getting a really nice sun lens flare. Nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Brad. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Brad I'm made us. Brad made us stop and pee six miles out of La Push. <laughs> His new handle well, will be. Brad was peeing six miles out of La Push, whether we stopped or not. So. <laughs> <laughs> His, neutral? His neutral? new yeah, handle had nothing to do with it. His new handle will be tiny tanks. Tiny, tiny tanks. tanks. Brad, halibut or ling? Want to back down for him? I don't know. I think for Brad. I'm thinking halibut. Okay, uh, Phil, I'm going to need you to go ahead and uh, grab the uh, gaff. The big gaff. Mr. McGaffin. No, I think the little guy will probably work. Okay. Do we need the big gaff, Brad? We should probably get it ready. Yeah. It's on the starboard side on the cushion. Rick, what do you think? I think he's got a nice fish. Seems to be Brad's superpower. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> My superpower is being able to turn beer into you can't say on this show. I did. I see that. <laughs> so we're there. Let's see what we got. It's a no. damn skate. That's why it was so heavy. All right, well, we got some unhooking to do. Brad, you've just caught a skate. Oh, goody. <laughs> on a scale of one to suck, how was that? That was close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Slow morning. Suck a luck of us. Suck a luck of us. Huh. huh. We'll have to define that later. Right. A snuffle -luff, I guess. I we know that. that, yeah. The snuffle -luff, I guess, is all the halibut we got. <laughs> <laughs> and now we go to our third time the charm desk where Brad has hooked again, and this one's fighting pretty good. 
grad. But it doesn't feel very big. I mean, it's jerking, but it doesn't doesn't feel like a lot of weight. Okay, well, we'll find out here soon enough. Halibut. 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 Oh, come on. You let me go. No. Uh, that's a nice fish, Brad. That's a good one. Nice naughty girl hat on the halibut. Oh, yeah. Brad. Up with, uh, he'll on, he'll let you go on, here okay. in a sec. That is a nice fish. Yeah. With the 24 pounder for the first fish of the day. Well done. Yeah, nice. works. Good job, Brad. I will take the gas. All right, we're going to have to call Mark today and thank him for the tip on moving over the ledge when the current starts ripping. Because right, right now we're at the fast part of the tide movement, and yeah. Things are looking up. Yep. Ain't that right, Rick? That's definitely right. What do you think, Rick? I think it's more than I initially thought. That's good. Brent, what do you got to say? I like gaffing. <laughs> right on. I think we got another 20-pound halibut here. Well, 24 if you believe the good Real. scale. Halibut. Halibut, there we go. Same. All right, Brad, was that good gaffing? Was that, that, was, that, that was excellent was gaffing that, there, mister. Was that good gaffsmanship? Yes. Yeah, you're a gaffer. Look at that, a little bigger. Yeah, she's bouncing on the way up. I don't know what it is. A little something. Something, something? Yeah, a little ding. Well, smallest halibut we've ever seen. How much you got on the counter? Oh, you got a ways to go. Well, yeah, but yeah, but it was down at 900 feet. I, I don't know what's wrong with the counter, but something is amiss. Um, Phil, would you care to elaborate? Uh, yeah. That's the... That's the... Uh, that's a nice lure. Are we back at Suck? Is that the pipe fish that we've been after? Invi that's an Invisaling. <laughs> <laughs> an Invisaling. I like it. An, in, in, an invisible. Invisaling. Nice. Yeah. Here we have Brent actually fishing. We're looking for the biggest fish we have so far to come up on his hands. Brent actually fishing usually is a sign of duress, so that if any guy on another boat sees it happening, they know to call the Coast Guard. But poor Brad got wore out by that eight pound halibut he brought up. Eight pound? Oh, oh. maybe a little bigger. <laughs> we struggled over three hours for two halibut, decent sized halibut, but didn't get a single ling and we got a ling derby in two days. So we scooted over to the prairie, which is on the other side of the Juan de Fuca Trench from the halibut grounds. And my assistant, Phil, is now dropping down one rod. And as soon as Rick figures out how to use that one, we'll put that one in the water. Any words of wisdom, Phil? Um, this time. OK. Nice thing about fishing is every time, the next time down is the next time. <laughs> Phil. Oh, wow, that was profound. Phil's doing some <laughs> winky banky talk. Yeah. A little back. No, you're supposed to say something interesting, Rick. Something interesting, Rick. <laughs> Thank you for your input. All right, well, I'm going to eat this jerky, and we're going to see if we can get some fish in the boat. So we went out to the prairie, and we got Zippo. Rick is just enjoying the ride back. back in the We've moved to the bass hole, and Brad has hooked up our first ling cod of the day. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice fish. Brad, you've just caught a ling cod. What are you going to do next? Catch another. There you go. That's the spirit. Oh, nice. A china. And a nice bath. 
Take the bass, the china can go away. Phil had a fish on and then he brought his stuff up and there was nothing there. I don't know. Well, I mean, what is that all about? Who are all these people? Rick with the kelp greenling for the win. Oh, nice. Oh man, those are huge. Those are nice. And you know how much I love the sea bass, Brad. Brad is tearing it up. Blue. Damn, those are huge. That's our 27th bottom fish. That's a huge bass. One more, which Brother Phil seems to have. Last bass coming in. Yeah, nice fish. That's the last one. Phil, you've just caught, caught the last bass of the day. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> We're gonna have fish taco. <laughs> All right. Well, we just got our 28th sea bass, compliments of young Mr. Phil, and uh, we got a lot of big bass this trip. We got two decent sized halibut, we only got two ling cod, we got a ling cod derby on Saturday, so tomorrow we're going to do some R&D, some hunting. And right now we're going to head back, clean some fish, and uh, get ready to do some more fishing tomorrow morning. So. We'll see you at the dock. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.